Hi, Tracy. Hi, Adam. Um, apparently, you've got a, a wheel problem. I have a wheel problem. I have a crazy Bengal cat that loves to run on this thing at night. What's his name? His name is Ziggy. <laughs> and he's like, he's big. He's big. He's like 18 pounds. Oh, and but this, he's losing weight. He's losing weight yeah, because of his exercise yeah, wheel. Yeah, I think his exercise wheel is a little flawed. Not moving quite smoothly enough. Ah, OK. This is incredible. This is beautiful. but. I hear a lot of resistance and it seems a bit wobbly. Yeah, it, I, it's not, I, I think one of the kids got on it and bent the bearings or something happened. I mean, it definitely worked better in the beginning. Okay. So it needs a little repair job. All right, I, 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 I have some materials I think we might be able to apply to this. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look at its components and see what we can, uh, see what we can repair. All right. Oh, that's about as simple as it gets. So, so these, oh, these just pop out of here, I think. That's that's crazy. That amount of noise. Um, oh wow, they're glued in. Let me get a screwdriver. There you go. This is this is the big one. This um, that amount of slop that mm -hmm. that has. Um, that's noise, and if that's wobbling while the thing is wobbling, it's introducing friction that's not perfectly linear. So in preparation, I bought this, which is a hard skateboard wheel and a thicker axle. Um, so here, watch this. Uh, pick up that and spin it. Right, okay. so you can even see the wobble on it. Yeah, yeah, so go ahead and spin that one. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Right, and this one yeah. will spin for like 15 seconds. Right, that one stops almost immediately. And times nine, it's a lot of extra like vibrational right. noise. So there's that. Now, this is so we'll thicker board. than the slot, so I think I can machine this down on my lathe. Um, I'll need to machine it so, I'll need to machine these three. In the meantime, I can have you start pressing bearings into these wheels. Okay, cool. I'm gonna. Put the bearing on top of the wheel like that, right, and that just enough. sets it nice and level in both sides of the wheel. The problem with making the holes bigger is that this has been precisely machined, uh -huh. and and it's put together, so you can't do it in any way that's yeah, yeah precise enough. But I think I'm a little bit. Uh, I think I've gone a little bit too tight with my tolerances. I'm going to make two more of these, and it's going to make it a lot stronger than this. I mean, right. I can bend this axle with my hands, right. and this one is significantly stronger. All right, so this is just going to take me a couple of minutes. Okay. See, what they've got here is they've actually machined a little notch into the axle, which is got ridiculous because it. it makes it even weaker. Right. Um, and then they've put a little circlip on there. So mm -hmm. instead of doing that, because that will take a huge amount of time, I'm just going to use a little brass spacer okay. that threads over. And so what we need are uh, two, four, six pieces of brass cut to exactly that thickness, that width. Okay. Right there, and I've got this little saw with a clamp. All right. And if you do that and cut it to that, we need six of those. Okay. All right, Adam, nine of these. One, two. Oh, whoops. What we need is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, little 18 one. little ones. That looks exactly right. So we can um, repair these. Yeah, you want to give that next? Um, first of all, we, with a little pair of pliers, we'll take off that little bit of flash, and then, um, and then countersink bit in it. 
That'll help clean it up. All right. So I think those are, uh, I think these are ready to go. Um, let's see, so it's a, oh, oh, this. that is so nice. So oh, there's that. On there. So go ahead and why don't you start assembling one and I'll assemble one. If everything goes correctly, it right. should be, <laughs> if everything goes correctly. Oh, I love how like precisely everything fits on stuff. Okay, what did I get wrong? Right off the bat, every, everything screwed up. Really? <laughs> oh no. Uh, no, it's all right. It's just that um, these wheels, I forgot, these wheels are thicker by a fair bit, which means so. all of these are the wrong length. So let's say 0.9. All right. Try again. Let's try again. That looks, Oops. oh, that looks great. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. Adam, are you gonna put more hot glue in on top of that or is it really necessary? We could put, actually, I'd probably put in a little epoxy. Mm -hmm. And I've got some. Ready? Is that a new sound? It yeah. is. How much? Maybe fill in oh, the gap with no. a little. Um, Wait a second. Let's give that way a shot. smoother. Go. Yeah. Significantly better. Mm -hmm. All right. Last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to throw some oil. So the basic gist of it was that their axle was thin. I can right. actually make it bendy, which means that it's going to move. These wheels actually can turn on the axle. There's a huge, I mean, that's like 10 right. thou of play. Um, and then I can feel that these wheels are also poorly molded. I, you know, that's, uh -huh. a, that's a separation line. Right. Uh, and none of that's good. So I went with skateboard bearings with high quality uh, skateboard wheels. I went with very hard wheels rather uh -huh. than soft wheels. That's to lower the rolling resistance. The right. softer the wheel, the more contact there is, actually right. the more friction. Um, and then finally, rather than opening up these holes, I went with uh, some hardened uh, steel shaft, which I machined down to fit the original diameter of these. But these are super strong and they're not going anywhere. And right. Even though I wouldn't say it out loud, well, one of the kids could probably get on this and not right. hurt it. And um, I guess you'll take the spider back home with you. Yeah, I think so. I think he's got, I think he wants to stay. All right, there we go. Cool. Oh, it's much better. Wow. <laughs> That's going to be a much faster wheel. That's a radical improvement. Isn't that insane? Oh, that's so cool. I, did, I, I really didn't know if that would be <laughs> such a good improvement. Look at that. But he's going to love that. Now he's going to get fat again. <laughs> <laughs> really? Not nearly as much effort. Oh, I see. But he's yeah. still going to be running. Yep. yep. Wow, so let me see how long it spins for. I mean, I think it, it's freewheeling like five more rotations. Yeah. Awesome. Phenomenal. Yeah. It, I, I, I really can't believe they had all of this crazy, like rattly wheels in here. It's such a shame because it's a beautiful design. And I thought this thing, it no longer even wanders the way no, it used to. No, it doesn't. To. It's not even warbling at all. There we go. Thank you, sir. Anytime, sweetie. Anytime at all. I'd be happy to help. All right, let's get it up to your car. All right.